Hey there everybody, I'm here, uh, except I'm not going to stare into the sun this whole video. You don't want to see my ugly mug anyway, but um, a day late, I did get my PNC box in. Um, so I got this in on Monday, and I should have gotten it on Saturday, but nevertheless, I'm going to open it. I was hoping to uh, be well enough to smoke by today, but I'm not, still haven't smoked, so um, I think I'm good enough to at least smell some of this stuff. And you guys know it wouldn't be a box opening if I didn't open and sniff stuff, so uh, let's see, one ounce, bosun cut plug, unscented. It smells good and smells scented, which is what I was guessing. Um, I've heard that uh, some of the uh, tobaccos are sometimes mislabeled, uh, scented and unscented when there's only one version. Um, so maybe that's one. Boom, Gawith and Hogarth, Black Irish X. Mm, now that smells tasty. Uh, I wanted to try the black. I've tried Sam Gullis brown rope, but I wanted to try a black rope, so I grabbed that one. An ounce to try. Here's an ounce to try of Gawith and Hogarth's brown flake scented. Oh man, these things smell pretty, pretty nice. The one of the themes of this um, purchase has been uh, wanting to try some Lakeland scented blends as well as some unscented. Um, Best Brown Number Two is another scented flake. Two ounces here of Innerdale Flake, one of their most popular scented blends. Man. This smell quite perfumey. Here we go. With, uh, kind of stocked up on this one, just guessing that I'd like it, because the description sounded really good. And anyway, Brown Flake Unscented. It smells really good. And it's got some crystals or plume or whatever already on it, so uh, that's nice. Um, so Virginia Flake with some burly in it. Um, and Dark Stoved, which I like. Gawith and Hogarth's Glengarry Flake. I think one of the floral scented flakes. Hmm. Lightly scented it seems. Pretty good smelling nonetheless. I think Briar Boy recommended that one. Scotch Flake scented. Hmm. It's maybe sort of a chocolate smell. That smells really good. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to fire some of these up when I'm feeling a bit better. And then another two ounce of Kindle Flake. Uh, this is some good stuff. Man, smells good. And another one I stocked up on because I tasted a little bit of it before I ordered. Got five ounces of the Gawith and Hogarth Bright CR Flake, a Bright Carolina Virginia Flake. Uh, and last, but not least, a box. A fine box of McBaron's HH Old Dark Fired. And I'm gonna have to open this puppy up and see what it looks like inside. Stupid thing. All 
Uh, well, let me not open this anyway. So inside, you've uh, just got a big gold brick of uh, of flake. Oh, wait, here we go. Maybe we'll just take a look at these. This is the first full pound of tobacco I've purchased. Uh, so you should be looking, uh, if I can get around to it and get better enough to, to shoot the video, to seeing from me a very positive review, obviously, of the old dark fired. Now, hopefully, without spilling this beautiful thing all over my car, I can show you what this flake looks like. Alright, I'm getting scared. Actually, here. Let me just take you guys off and show you. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful big flakes. Longer flakes than come in the tin. But that there is HHL Dark Fired. If you guys enjoyed this little box opening, I sure did, and I'm sure I will more so enjoy smoking up these contents for probably for years and years to come. Uh, so, you guys, uh, hope you have a wonderful day today. Hope you had a good international pipe smoking day. I've got two more packages coming. One should arrive later today. For IPSD, one should arrive mid-March because it's a pipe I ordered, uh, paid for a commission. So you read it, Pipe of the Year. So look forward to those videos, look forward to HHL Dark Fired, and I look forward to smoking again. Cheers.